Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and we'll go through the setup process on this wireless silent keyboard and it's made by this brand here, Surf On. Uh, we got this at Walmart um, and they have an area right here where you can test out the buttons to see how quiet they are and they are pretty quiet. So let's take a look at the back here just so we can see the information uh, that's on the back. Um, a lot of different information here. Some of the stuff it talks about are the specs of the keyboard um, and what you get inside the box. And what it says is a wireless silent keyboard, a USB nano receiver, and then two AAA batteries. So um, let me take everything out of the box and get it organized. Um, and then we'll hook this up to my laptop and we'll see how well it works. Okay, so here's everything that was inside the box. We have the wireless keyboard right here. Uh, we have two AAA batteries right here. We have the wireless USB nano receiver right here. And then we have the product guide right here. And make sure that you read through this product guide completely before you do set up or use the wireless keyboard. This will tell you everything that you need to know on how to do that properly. So I'm going to set the wireless keyboard, uh, set this up on my laptop. But before we do, let's take a look at it. Um, the keys here are very quiet in my opinion. So I'm already liking this keyboard. I like that it has the number pad over here. Let's take a look at the back here. Here's what the back looks like. Uh, we have the on off switch right here and a connect button right here. Um, and then right here is the battery compartment. So um, I'm going to set this down gently here and uh, I'm gonna get a closer look for you guys at the battery compartment and we'll start by installing the two AAA batteries. Okay, so we're going to install the two AAA batteries now. Uh, the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that the keyboard is turned off, uh, which this one is. And then there's a clip on the battery compartment door and we're just going to push that in and then gently lift up uh, on the battery compartment door. There's a couple clips in the middle here. So I'm just working my fingers and thumb down uh, to gently lift that up. And then once those two middle clips come out, uh, we can lift up and take the battery compartment door off like so. Uh, there's a couple clips on the back. Um, so when you lift up, um, you lift up to like right here and it stops so you don't want to lift up too much and then you can just uh, take the battery compartment door out like so. Um, and then here are those two clips in the middle of the battery compartment door and I noticed on this one uh, they were providing a little resistance. So uh, just be careful you don't want to you know accidentally break the battery compartment door. Um, and so I'm going to set that off to the side for now. And then um, inside the battery compartment, um, it tells you which direction the batteries go. So make sure that you do install these the correct direction. Um, there is a plus sign up on this side. And then down here on this side, right near the spring there, there is a minus sign. Let me see if I can turn on um, the light here so you guys can see better. There's that minus sign down there by the spring. And then there is the plus sign uh, up on this side here. And then right here is where you can fit the wireless USB nano receiver when you're not using it. And it just fits in there like so. And then when you put the battery compartment cover back on, it will just keep that secure so you don't misplace it. Okay, so now we're going to install the two AAA batteries. Um, I've already removed the plastic from these. So we're going to install the first one. Um, there are two plastic pieces that stick out here that don't allow you to just put the battery in back here. Uh, you have to put the battery in up here and then slide it backwards. Uh, just make sure that you install it the correct direction. So I have the plus sign uh, facing this direction here. So I'm just going to put the battery in like so and then gently slide that backwards towards the spring. And then I have the next battery here and make sure that you have it facing the correct direction. I have the plus sign facing this way and I'm just going to put the battery in like so and then gently push backwards until this battery can seat into place like so. And then I'm gonna make sure that both of those batteries are secured in there properly. And once both of the batteries are secured in there properly, uh, we can reinstall the battery cover. And I'm going to uh, put these two clips here first into the wireless keyboard like so. 
and then just gently set the cover down like this. And then I'm going to push back on this clip here to allow the front part to seat back into the wireless keyboard. And once it does, you can let off that clip. And then you'll notice on mine uh, that the two clips in the middle provide a lot of resistance. Uh, so they haven't seated back into the wireless keyboard yet. So I'm just going to gently push down on both of those clips until the cover seats back into place on the keyboard, like so. Okay, so now we can move on to the next step where we're going to hook up the wireless USB nano receiver to my laptop. Okay, so here is my laptop and I'm taking the wireless USB nano receiver and I'm just plugging that into, let me show you here. I'm just plugging that into um, one of the USB ports on my laptop here. And we just wanna make sure that we install that all the way like so and correctly. Um, and then we can see here that a message popped up um, saying that it's setting up a device. Um, and it says device is ready. So, um, you know, it, it went through the setup process already. So now, um, let me get a better view here and we're going to test out uh, the keyboard. We're gonna turn it on and test it out and make sure that it's working. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is to turn the keyboard on here. So I'm just turning this over and then I'm moving the switch here from the off to the on position. Um, so now the keyboard is turned on. So let me set this back down. We can see that some of the lights up here came on. And let's test the keyboard out. So I'm just gonna come down to the search box here and I'm going to type in command prompt and we can see that the keyboard is working. So that's great. Um, you know, in, in the instance of my laptop, it was uh, just plug and play and started working. So that's great. Okay, so if you are having any issues with trying to connect the wireless keyboard to your laptop or computer, I do plan on making a future video going through some troubleshooting steps of why the wireless keyboard may not be connecting to your laptop or computer. And when I do make that video, I'll link that video at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check that video out. Okay, and then there are three LED indicator lights here. Um, this one here is for the number lock. This one here is for the caps lock. And then this one here, what it says in the product guide, it says that when you turn on the wireless keyboard, the green LED light is on for 10 seconds. For the low battery warning, the green LED light will be blinking for 10 seconds. And when you're pairing the wireless keyboard, the green LED light will be blinking. Um, and when it's paired or failed, the LED light will turn off after 10 seconds. Okay, so here is my opinion on the on wireless silent keyboard. I like that the keys are really quiet. That's a nice feature. Um, I like that it has the number pad over here. That was a really important feature for me. And I like the look of the keyboard. I'm really happy with it so far. Time will tell how long the batteries will last. But so far, my overall opinion of this keyboard is I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.